so um, the next day uh, I woke up and I'd had a horrendous night. Um, I'm keeping my voice down for two reasons. First, babies are bath sleeping. Secondly, parents and grandparents in the other room didn't really want the eaves dropping. <laughs> um, I had a horrendous night because um, the bed is horribly soft and um, also very, very low to the ground. Uh, all the beds in this place are like that. Um, and I was quite unable to uh, sleep at all. Um, I don't think I slept a wink. Um, <coughs> so I ended up uh, quite tired and restless. And of course I couldn't really go to the loo in the middle of the night either because unlike everybody else my room wasn't en suite so I had to sort of get out of the room, go down the stairs. Um, but never mind. Uh, so we move on now um, to Saturday and Saturday we didn't do a lot. Saturday really was um, house day for me. Uh, you know I took a uh, a walk to the beach and I walked along to um, uh, an area that's not too far away but um, it's where the the sandy beach turns into rock pools and I sort of looked through these rock pools I was collecting shells and there were a lot of snail shells and when I got to the rock pools I realised that the snail shells were actually hermit crab shells and they were real hermit crabs, very small. Um, they were scooting around all over the place. Fortunately I did have an accident in the rock pools. I did fall over some of the green slipping seaweed and crushed at least three uh, hermit crabs. I do apologise. It was an accident. The girls were ever so grateful. Um, thankfully I was not damaged. Um, <clears throat> so I came back um, at that point uh, having investigated, you know, the sort of local town and I um, can't really remember what we did for lunch. Um, not at all sure. We'd had a We'd had a sort of almost a celebratory breakfast that morning with croissants and um, petit pans and, and stuff like that. So we'd had quite a large breakfast. I think for lunch I pretty much ate sandwiches um, that I bought out or whatever. Um, and then uh, in the afternoon I went down to uh, the beach again later uh, with my sisters and their other halves and their babies and it was the first time that the babies managed to get onto the beach. We only stayed on the sandy area, we didn't go far but they were down there for some time playing, picking up sand and stuff like that. Um, Tiffany and Chris brought their dog um, so there was a lot of taking the dog out for you know, poos and wheeze and um, him running along the beach and knocking over a poor little child. Um, but anyway, so that was day one. Um, that night, I believe uh, Rosie cooked um, tea and we had a sort of potato and um, lemon sort of surprise really. It was, it was very nice. And I slept a little bit better uh, on the the next day, next night into Sunday. Um, Sunday we got up early for baby crash so that the parents could sleep in. And we'd look after the babies um, in the early hours of the morning, you know, feed them breakfast, etc. Um, there were lots and lots of... I wouldn't say wasted time, but there was lots and lots of time um, between 
uh, events where, you know, they'd be feeding or we'd be playing with them, you know, so we only really got sort of to do one thing in the morning, one thing in the afternoon. And if we were up late on the morning, we didn't get to do anything in the morning. Um, <clears throat> but we did, that day we did crash. And then uh, my parents went to the local church down here and I decided that, that I was going to go walking um, along a stretch of St Oswald's Way, in fact, which starts on Lindisfarne and goes along the coast um, as a coastal path all the way to Newcastle, I think. Um, but I didn't get very far. I I sort of got along to um, uh, Blairsbury, which is the sort of next town along, um, and then I gave up and I came back. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that was that was Sunday. 